In this video, I'm going to give you a brief tour of the STAR Genetics user interface. I'm going to give you a tour using one of the exercises that comes pre-bundled with STAR Genetics. To access it, navigate to File, New, and let's select Yeast Sample Exercise from the list. Once the exercise loads, you'll see that the user interface is divided into five windows. Let's take a look at the Strains window or Strains box first. This Strains box contains a small visual depiction of the yeast colony as well as the strain name and contains all of the strains that have been given to you by your instructor for your experiments in STAR Genetics. If you scroll down, you will see that there are six strains, strains one through six, as well as two wild type strains called Mat A Tester and Mat Alpha Tester. If you would like more information about a particular strain, you can select it in the strains box and look in the properties window in the lower left hand corner. It is within this window where you can easily rename a strain. Let's rename strain one, mutant one, and click OK. You'll see that the name of the strain changes in the strains box. As you perform your genetics experiments, you may want to write notes about your findings. You can write down notes in the notes window. Let's say information goes here. And anything you write will appear next to the visual depiction and name of the strain in the strains box. In the main window of Star Genetics, the program is currently prompting you to choose an experimental setup. There are two types of experiments that you can perform in Star Genetics non-tetrad experiment or a tetrad experiment. If you would like to test individual or multiple strains on different selective media conditions without using tetrads, then you would want to select a non-tetrad experiment. It is this experiment type in which you can easily perform a complementation test, for example. However, if you would like to mate two strains together and sporulate the resulting diploid, to generate tetrads for a tetrad analysis, you will want to select tetrad experiment. In this window, you can also analyze the resulting tetrads by replica plating them on selective media conditions to deduce information regarding the tetrad's genotype and mating type. Active experiments will be performed in this top window and you can access saved experiments in the saved experiments window at the bottom you will see more about both of these windows in upcoming videos. One last thing that I'd like to point out is the suggestion box in the upper left hand corner. If you have any suggestions or comments that you would like to tell us about while you're using Star Genetics, you can fill out the form here and send us the report.